All right, so we're starting here with the HPI Venture again today. Uh, steering servos been upgraded, steering knuckles, and of course wheels and tires, and moving right along with a class one status. Um, currently, it's a, it's a good C2 right now, but I definitely want to take it to a class one, and for that, I definitely need to get some interior on this to start off with and eventually it'll be getting a light kit and a few other items as well but for starters i picked up this pro line interior um it was only a couple bucks i had to wait for the uh, slow boat of china to get it to me but i could pay 20 bucks and have it within a couple of days if not the same day or a couple bucks and wait a little while it's really not that hard to wait Stopped in this morning at Value Village and picked up a, a couple characters. Uh, the only two that they had in this size, roughly five to six inches tall. So I got the uh, yellow Power Ranger. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about that. It's definitely not going to be a driver. It's, it's definitely a sitting passenger. And then I ended up getting um, I forgot what this dude's name was, but he's from the movie Virus, <laughs> from, uh, uh, what was it, a 90s movie, a uh, ship gets taken over by this virus and starts turning humans into, uh, machinery robots on a ship that got abandoned type of a thing. Anyway, so I chopped his legs off because that has to happen for this. Um, usually on the some of the thicker pieces will actually shave the back and the bottom down but because of how small he is I'm not going to worry about that. Outside of our people we got this weird little contraption like thing that uh, is supposed to go on this guy like you know he just got invaded or some crap and so I think it goes around the back actually but I'm not going to worry about that little alien structure like thing but the cool thing is is that it did come with a couple guns so little AK-47 a bazooka a flashlight um, yeah and then the power idiot came with like this blue ice structure power beam like thing and that won't be used either <coughs> So to get started here, this guy, unfortunately, I think his arms are in a little too high for this, um, or out a little too far, because he's not going to be able to grab the steering wheel. There's just no way that's even going to be able to, but I think that's going to be okay anyway. I'm thinking that I could find my little accessories here could almost put a beer in his hand I think that'd be kind of fun and so he could be he could be drinking beer out on while he's driving You get the idea. Maybe it'll be in this hand. But yeah, we got a little beer. We can definitely put a beer in there. I could probably grab the beer bottle instead and make it a little bit easier. And uh, Navigator could possibly be holding the iPad. 
There we go. So this guy would be in there like this, you know, nothing major. Wouldn't even care. He's got his little iPad. Telling the driver where to go. But, uh, you know, the driver's pissed, so he has his guns with him. So. Get that moved up a little bit. Take a good look at that for a second. See if that's something I really want to do. I mean, because like this could stay down here, have a little beer bottle, beer can over towards him. You know, he's obviously not right in the head. He's, he's drinking and driving and playing with guns. I think this is going to be the way the interior goes. So, getting started... Pull out the dudes. This guy is going to need some hot glue. Hopefully on the back side of this. Levels of idiot. I forgot to switch the heat, the glue gun on. That's just friggin' hilarious to me. I'm sitting here wondering why it ain't going. Alrighty. So while I'm waiting for that to warm up. <laughs> uh I can be such an idiot at times. However, this guy cannot have white showing here. So while that's warming up, like it should have been doing this entire time, I'm just going to marker this in. Don't even care. That's all fat markered up. Do we have any glue ability yet? Oh yeah, we do. Time to glue you, butthead. Alrighty. So, we got that joint glued. Just gonna put a little dip of it right there next to the arm so the arm doesn't continue to move around. I'm not gonna worry about this other arm though. The other arm could be floppy if it wants to be. And now for the stick'em. Push that butt on down there. Get that arm angled up a little bit higher because that's going to get glued. Right here at the head. 
definitely want to get that on there. There we go. Now that guy is in there. So that guy's going to be sitting in here like this. Uh, we will throw that right in here. It's got to be within arm's reach, you know. Alright, next step is to glue in the gun. So just get some glue in oh, the underside. There we go. No one's going to see that anyway. Alright, next step is his legs. But and then right here on his back. There we go. All right. <clears throat> so, there's our dudes. Unfortunately, that yellow Power Ranger just kind of blends right on in there with that, but it's fine. It is what it is, what it is, what it is. <clears throat> And of course, this thing came with stickers. Not like I paid attention to them. But we'll throw some decals on there. You really can't see much once it's uh, all inside anyway, so it's kind of like, why bother? Like that. <clears throat> uh, passenger side got to have its heater controls and stuff on it too, I guess. Get that steering wheel on there. Some really crappy stickers. Wow. I'm used to a <clears throat> vinyl type of sticker, and these are more of like a real sticker sticker. That's rather unfortunate. However, whatever. Keep the darn thing going. Um, it's really kind of funny. It actually came with uh, little cup holder like stickers. But it's not like uh, that particular one is using them. It's fine though, right? And he's apparently driving an automatic because I just done put. Yeah. 
This guy is driving an automatic. They have a little storage container in the back seat. You know what? I have an animal to throw back there. Let's throw an animal in there. Okay, and for the last piece that's going to go into this, Alrighty, there we go. Got a little dog, got the drivers in there. Kind of wish I had a micro machine. I'd be able to throw a little miniature RC over on this other side, but no micro machines and there wasn't any at the um, Value Village thrift store today. So no big deal however what is a big deal is how this is oops, how this will be mounted um, I saw a couple posts about this and they're saying that um, you wanted to have it resting on these points here and when I was doing a, uh, a minor mock-up, I was noticing that the body was actually hitting right back into these window corner, um, tail light corners. So the nice thing is, is that what I'm going to end up doing is finding out where I put stuff. Find out where I'm hiding my crap on me at. Maybe I just didn't grab them over here. That's fine. So a little while ago I picked up these foamy little pad circles. I mean, they're, they're a sticker pad, they go right on, they're, they help protect the body from the body posts. Well, I think I'm going to be using a couple of them for when I mount this guy in here, I'm not scuffing up the body against that those pieces. Uh, just in case it moves a little bit, I do plan to glue it in. So it shouldn't be terribly bad, but um, you never know. Just put them on there like that. Move around to this other side. Oh, there we go got some soft on it so that way it shouldn't rattle too terribly bad going down trails and stuff I'm almost wondering if I should put some at this back corner here just into that corner right with this sitting in there it is protected by the uh, the tail light so it shouldn't shouldn't 
be too much of an issue there. Let's get that turned off. But let's find out how this thing actually sits. Now that I got all my protection pieces in it, got my peoples. So this will literally just come down and sit on here like that. That comes in here the rest of the way like that. Maybe I will not need to uh, change any of that stuff around after all. It seems to be actually holding it in place with those foam pads and uh, not vibrating around on the interior, not moving around on the interior when I'm picking up the truck and moving the truck around. So I think we might be good. these pins in sweet don't know if that's going to show up too well but got the little doggy in the back window there's that yellow power ranger Checking out the, uh, there we go. And moving right on along. We got a rather driver. And of course I'm, well, let's do it this way. See if that helps, yeah. There we go. A little bit of that driver. <laughs> Sorry. Dealing with some light issues in here today. That's okay though. So, got that all done. The only thing that I don't have fun here would be like the stupid flashlight or this bazooka, but let's be realistic. These don't need to go. They can just go with the rest of these parts and pieces here. Is there anything else in this I'm going to want though? We do have some little stuff here. I mean, I'm, I'm definitely not going to bother with the uh, signage and the garage door stuff. And But I have this cool little axial ammo container that can go up here. Maybe off the back deck. Yeah, maybe not. Let's see here. Does it need this? No, that just looks and makes it look weird. Little canteen up here? No. No. So the answer is no, I don't need anything else on this. Um, it's got its stickers, It's it's got Got its interior now with a couple driver and passenger. One of them being a full-size driver, we're good. 